Hey everyone, in my TaxSuit Pro review, I briefly mentioned VRChat OSC support, and I realized that feature probably deserves its own tutorial. It's definitely a niche use case, but here's how to set it up if you're interested. Before we dive in, there's one super important thing you need to understand. Just because you have the vest doesn't mean you'll suddenly feel haptics on any avatar. You need an avatar specifically made with OSC haptic contact points. Unless you're into creating custom avatars or willing to commission someone to make one with haptic support, I honestly don't recommend buying the vest or any other peripherals just for VR chat alone. However, if you're willing to learn some Unity, it can be done. I'll link the haptics guide for adding haptic support to avatars in the description. Sadly, I've been unable to find many worlds with supported avatars out there or worlds that have haptic effects, but if you know any, please throw them in the comments. I'm dividing this video into two parts, one for getting B-Haptics working with the Steam VR version of VR Chat, and one for the Quest version, so feel free to use those timestamps. Let's start with VR Chat on Steam. First things first, make sure you have the B-Haptics player software installed. You'll also need to download the B-Haptics VR Chat OSC application, which I'll link in the description. When you download the OSC app, Windows is going to complain about it being from an unknown publisher. Run anyway, it's safe. Open the OSC app and make sure it shows B Haptics Player connected. Once you launch VR Chat, you should see it successfully connect to the game. In VR Chat, open your radial menu, go to Options OSC, and enable OSC. This is what allows the communication between VR Chat and your vest. If you don't already have an avatar with B Haptics support, head to the B Haptics Nexus world. You can try on some supported avatars there, and once equipped, you should be able to touch yourself to feel the haptics working. For environmental effects from worlds that support B haptics, you'll need to enable debug mode. In your VR chat settings, scroll down to debug and make sure full is enabled. Then back in the B haptics nexus world, look for the pop-up near spawn and select activate haptics. Then with this, you can run around and test out some of the world haptics. The quest setup is also surprisingly straightforward. Start by making sure your vest is paired via Bluetooth to your quest, either through your Bluetooth settings or by launching the B-Haptics Player Quest app, which you will need for this. With the B-Haptics app launched, your connected vest should now show up here. Go to Settings, then VR Chat OSC, then press the Start button. Make sure the status says Connected. There's a checkbox for automatic activation on Quest Startup. I recommend toggling this on so you don't have to manually start it every time. You can adjust some additional settings in the B-Haptics Player app. Jump into VR Chat and you should feel the vest vibrate once after launching to confirm connection. Hold Y or B to open the action menu, navigate to Options, OSC, and then set it to Enable. Head to the B-Haptics Nexus world and find supported avatars. Since you're on Quest, make sure those avatars are Quest compatible. Once equipped, you can touch yourself to confirm everything's working. These instructions are specific to the B-Haptics Nexus world, so you can skip this if you just want to avatar haptics elsewhere. After enabling permissions for haptics in VR chat worlds, a new pop-up will appear. Select Player, then Allow Access to Manage All Files. Launch VR chat and enter the B-Haptics Nexus world. Go into Settings, Debug Mode, and make sure that Full is selected. Look for the pop-up near spawn and select Activate Haptic. You should feel haptic feedback in your vest. Now you can explore things like sitting in a massage chair, walking through the water and fire effects, or beating up mannequins and feeling the feedback transferred to you. The massage chair was honestly my favorite part. Unfortunately, there are very few B haptic supported avatars and worlds, especially for Quest. It was genuinely difficult to find these worlds, and the selection's pretty much limited to just B haptics Nexus world. The technology works well when properly implemented, but you're not going to find haptic support in most avatars or worlds. You're essentially limited to the specific content that creators may take the time to add haptic support to. If VR chat's your main use case for wanting a haptic vest, I'd seriously reconsider. But if you plan on playing other games with the vest, then hopping into VR chat just to give it a shot can be fun. If you know of more B haptic supported avatar worlds or worlds with haptic environments, please drop them in the comments below. It would be really useful to compile all the B haptic supported VR chat content in one place since there's so little of it out there. Let me know if this helped you get it set up. And as always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you in the next one.